Hello folks and welcome to GED Microlearning. My name is Dr. MCR and this is GED Math Test 29. Our first question today, basic arithmetic, involves number lines and it's telling you um, which of the equations below represents what is seen in the number line. Okay, so the uh, squiggly line starts at 3 and it ends at minus 1. And what they want you to realize here is that when you go from 3 to minus 1, you're actually subtracting 4, okay? Because if you follow the line from 3 to 2, there's 1. From 2 to 1, 2. 1 to 0, 3. And from 0 to minus 1, 4. Okay, so you're subtracting 4 from 3. So the correct equation would be letter B. 3 plus minus 4 or you could also say 3 minus 4. Question 2, applied arithmetic is a percentage uh, question. All right, so here they're giving you a um, circle graph and uh, sort of like a pie graph, okay? And um, essentially uh, it's telling you in the question that this is the budget of a family called the Freeman family. And in the graph, you can say that it uh, tells you how much of their money they spend on different items every month. So if you look at the blue part of the graph, they spend 30% of their money on food, 29% on rent. They spend 26% in credit cards, which is the yellow section, etc. So the question says, if the Freeman family's take-home pay is 3100 how much will they pay each month for rent? So what you have to do here is look at your pie graph and find that part of the pie that represents the rent. In this case, it's the blue, uh, excuse me, the green pie slice, okay? So the green slice is the rent and it represents 29% of their um, of their money. So all you do is multiply that 29% multiplied by their take-home pay. Okay, so when you multiply 29% or 0 0.29, it's the same thing, by 3,100, that gives you 899. Okay, so out of their whole take-home pay, that's how much money is going to be spent on rent. So the correct answer would be C. Question three is an algebra problem, and um, it says which of the following is equal to the expression below. Okay, so here uh, what you have to do to solve this is use something that is known as the FOIL method. All right, the FOIL method um, stands for is an acronym for the way in which you're going to multiply these numbers out. Okay, so the F stands for first, O for outer, I for inner, and L for last. Okay, so, so let's start with the first one, with first. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to take the first numbers of each of these brackets, in this case, 4X and 5X, and you're going to multiply them together. Okay, so 4X times 5X is going to give you 20X squared. All right, the next um, numbers that you're going to multiply are what we call the outer numbers. So if you look at your, your four numbers, the numbers that are on the outermost part of the uh, equation would be 4x and 3y. Okay, so when you multiply those two numbers together, 4x multiplied by minus 3y gives you negative 12xy. All right, the next uh, set of numbers is the inner numbers. Okay, that's the I of FOIL, inner. And in this case, the inner numbers are uh, 2Y and 5X. So minus 2Y multiplied by 5X is negative 10XY. And finally, the last letter of your acronym of FOIL is LAST. Okay, so the last numbers would be uh, minus 2Y multiplied by minus 3y, which would give you positive 6y squared. Okay, so you've solved uh, the uh, expression 
by multiplying out all of these numbers. And now all you have to do is simplify. And here, by simplify, I mean if you look at that minus 12xy minus 10xy, that would give you minus 22y, okay? So that's what the um, equation is simplified to. Okay, so this is the correct answer would be D. Question four is another algebra problem involving quadratic equations. And here it tells you uh, which of the following is the solution for the quadratic equation 3x squared plus x minus 30 is equal to zero. Okay, so this is one of those problems where what you have to do is basically take the answers that they're providing for you and just plug them into your equation until you get the correct answer. Um, and in this case, what I did is I actually put the answer in the first position uh, to save us some time. So if you plug three where there's an X in this equation, you would end up with an equation that looks like this, okay? So when you solve for this, the first thing that you solve is the exponents. So three squared is the same thing as saying three times three or nine. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 3 is going to equal to 30, and then 30 minus 30 is going to equal 0. Okay, so the correct answer would be A. And again, here I, I kind of out of laziness, I guess I put the answer in the first position, but uh, sometimes in the exam you have to go through all of the numbers. Okay, so it takes a little bit of time, but you can see that it's pretty straightforward as long as you are careful with the signs, okay, your positive and negative signs. All right, so question five is our geometry question of the day. Um, and it says a line goes through the points 0, 3 and 1, 2. What is the equation of the line? All right, so if you remember, when they look at the, the equation of the line, um, it's x is equal to mx plus b, where uh, the first part of the equation represents the slope, and the second part, the b, represents where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay, so how do you solve this? Well, the first thing that you want to do is you want to find the slope. And if you look at the numbers that they give you in the equation, they're actually giving you four points on the line. Okay, so they're giving you um, one point for the x there, so x1, which is 0, and one point on the y-axis, which is 3. And then they're giving you a second set of uh, points on the, on the uh, x-axis and on the y-axis, okay? So remember, when you have uh, these ordered pairs, they always go in order, so x followed by y, and then the first set of numbers are going to be x, y, and y, 1, excuse me, x, 1, and y, 1, and the second set of numbers are going to be x, 2, and y, 2. All right, so if you remember the formula for a slope, this is the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus y minus x1, excuse me, that's a mistake. Okay, so y2 on the top minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, so if you plug your numbers in like that, it would be 2 minus 3 divided by 1 minus 0, and that gives you that the slope is minus 1. So if you look at your answer options, the only option, which is a negative 1, would be answer B. Okay, all of the other numbers are, are positive, so they wouldn't be an option. And then the, the letter B in your equation is the point where the uh, line crosses the Y um, axis. Okay, it's also one of the points that they give you. All right, I hope that made that sense for you guys. Thank you so much uh, for your time. As always, thank you so much for watching and for your support of this channel. Have a terrific day and uh, stay positive and strong. Have a good one.